Well, first of all, premium draw. Um, I just wanted to give a little spiel about this. Um, so, with these, it is, um, 3,000 yen, um, so if you haven't ever actually paid for these, um, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not, um, cause you're better off, ultimately you're better off using that money for soft ticks and anti ticks, um, but say you're gonna spark a banner anyway, and it has this, you might as well just do it because it kind of it guarantees an SSR from a small pool, so um, you have a higher chance. Obviously, it can be a duplicate, um, but it, there's a gold moon there, kind of guaranteed at least. Um, and also, it gives you an extra extra spark, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, and you get like an item, so you get more for your money. So if you're gonna spark a banner anyway, and especially if you're gonna pay for those draws, might as well just pay for this along the way because it is more worth your money than just a normal draw. Um, but the thing, so sometimes this, it's an element one like this. Sometimes it's a dual element one. So it's like they're grouped grouped by twos um and sometimes it's kind of just like the banner like a smaller version of the banner um so what you want to do to see if it's worth it is see what the like what's actually so this is just a normal 10 part draw um yeah it's just normal um, and it looks like with this element, oh no, it's, there's certain characters that have rate up. Um, so, I mean, I, when I've done this, I've gotten SSRs I didn't have from this 10 part. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of just a regular 10 part though. Um, but it can give you, so you can potentially get two you don't have. Um, yeah, so these two are basically just the regular draw um rate three is the smaller pool where you're guaranteed the ssr and um you're guaranteed an ssr not necessarily a character but an ssr character or summon so keep that in mind it's not always a character sometimes it I'm trying to remember sometimes it might be maybe maybe i'm wrong but it's an ssr item so yeah keep that in mind that you might get a summon um which i mean if you don't have a lot like these are pretty good um the, most of these are pretty good anyway, so it's not really that much of a loss, I would say. Um, and then you get an item. And you could get a Sunlight Stone or a Damabar. A Dama... Yeah. Um, so you, but, I mean, chains of that are pretty low. But you get something. Usually what I get is, like, berries or one of the Awakening Orbs. Um, so it's, I mean, it's the same price for a 10 part, um, but it gives you more. Um, so basically what you want to do to determine if it's worth it is kind of look at the, the small pool and see how many do you have, how many do you do not have. Um, and also remember the summons. Um, cause I mean, chances are you get a summon because it doesn't like to give you what you want. So, um, but you could always use Agni, Michael, if you don't have, um, them uncapped all the way. And Wilnos, which I already have Wilnos, so, uncapped all the way. Um, from when I sparked for Grand Narmaya. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so, like, for me, I have her, him, her, that one. So, 
with these, usually when I get a character weapon, it's one that I already have, so. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have a lot of these. Oh, um, I have all of them except Kupatan, so that's probably not worth it. Um, but like, let's say on a banner where it's just one, there's no like element specifics and you have like, if you have more than half, I would say, eh. Unless you're gonna draw anyway, then sure. Like, why not? YOLO. Um, but yeah, let's see. So this one, I do not have... Is this her normal or her Valentine? I don't know. But I don't really have any of them. Um, I think I'm gonna go with light for this time because light guild war. And I don't, I believe I don't have any of the light ones. I mean, also a lot of times this shows up for uh, seasonal characters. So I did one in the summer. I believe it was when I did, well, sometimes I think I did it um, during one of the summer banners before the final one. I did it because it had Yukata and um, summer swimsuit characters in it. And I ended up getting um, Yukata Izmir, so it was worth it in that case. Um, especially if you don't have a lot of the seasonal characters, then if you don't have any. I think, I believe those banners, if I'm not mistaken, only have character weapons in that small pool. So it's worth it. Um, I also did that for Valentine's in October and got... Um, Clarice, so that was also worth it. So if you don't, because I basically had no Valentine's characters like at all, so it was definitely worth it because I got something I didn't have. Um, so for light, yeah, I don't have any of them. And keep in mind with this one, the Valentine's characters are also in this pool. Um, yeah, and I mean even the summons, I don't have a. I mean Grand Order, not really worth it. <laughs> Artemis, eh. Heimdall, eh. I don't think that's worth it. So that would be a loss, I guess. But the rest, eh, not bad. I don't have Metatron. I don't have Lucifer. <laughs> so that's another cool thing is that the Primarchs are, can be in stuff like this. Yeah, Dark. I have, yeah, I have like half. So it's not really worth it. Um, see, like, Beelzebub and Belial are in this, too. But, I mean, the chances of pulling them. Not great. Um, and there's some that no one really cares about. So, I mean, you take your chances. But it's higher chance than um, normal draw. It's also probably rigged, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as always. Um, my luck might have ran out with, with these two, so <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I'm probably going to do light. Just swan out. I don't have a lot of them. Maybe, could I get Aglovale? I don't know. <laughs> I have to figure out who to use my Annie takes on. I don't know. I mean, Aglovale's pretty good. Um, Korwa is also really good. I don't have her. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'll do another video when that comes out, but you usually want to use it for seasonal because they're the hardest to get. Grand characters, I mean, normal pool characters have subtext. It's not worth it. Um, grand characters always show up in their banner. Um, so it's like not really worth it unless you really, really want someone. And... Um, Zodiacs, eh, I don't know. They they kind of rotate, but they're technically always in the um, banner. Not always in the same month, but they're they're not gonna they're not as seasonal as some others. More difficult to get though, I would say. I didn't actually get a Cirotix. Um, 
because I have all the zodiacs except for Kumbira, and I wanted her really bad. I don't know if she's the best one to use a zero ticks on, which basically gets you any character in the current banner. But I, I want her so bad. <laughs> so I mean, maybe I'll regret it in the future. I don't know. Depends. I kind of I'm gonna try not to use it. Um, yeah, as much as possible to save it for when it's really important. Like one of the dragons, and that I have no funds for. Especially Wombus. <laughs> Luo. Yeah, just keep in mind also, with Anniversary, there's going to be free, hopefully, unless they decide to change something, free um, roulette. So, um, you're probably going to get some things, who knows? I mean, but it also will make it easier to spark on certain days, so it gets to me. Anyway, let's see. So this is the regular 10 part. Nothing good there. This is the special item. Not bad. Brimstone earrings, and it gives you two. That's not bad. Um... Let's see what we got. Oh, nice, nice. So I have all three of the, the new ones now. <laughs> so let's later remember back. It's more of a support healer, good for backline as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I need more light people. That's not bad. I would have liked Aglovale, but, you know, eventually. Um, depending on how it goes with any ticks. They do the summer stuff, um, near anniversary as well. So, could we get Korwa? And if I got her, maybe I'll get Aglovale with any ticks. Who knows? But, um, Ladova is also good. No, I mean, I have all three now, which is funny. Oh, wait, wrong area. Okay. Um, inventory. So let's double check, because I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna use them. Them. The- yeah, which is interesting. Okay, so... Use them. Um... They're good for full auto, because, like, this um, activates from the charge attack. So, I mean, it'd be nice to be charge attacking a lot. Um, Greya also provides a refresh if she has enough buffs. Ten, I believe. So. And, um, I see. It. So, I think it'd be overkill to have both of them in the front line. Um. I think Greya might be better, but let's see. Okay, so there's a heal when an ally gets low. And you get buffs when you chain burst. When the Ladova is a sub-ally. So, Kango team with Greya in the front line, Ladova in the back line, would give you buffs every time. So this is chain burst ascension. Um, um, Greya, a lot of it in the back line. Um, Aglovale's good for full auto too, but I don't have him, so let's see. This is our life, let's see what else. Let's do it. I mean, I have Mahira. Maybe her. She may not, I'm thinking how good she does with Kengo. I mean, she... Any better ones? I mean, she does a lot of damage. She does do a lot of damage. She adds strength and shield. And does bonus light damage when the foe has henpecked. Or what? Um, how does she put henpecked? Okay, with this. So, I mean, yeah. 
she would work. She's pretty good, so I mean, I, for full auto, so I don't see why I wouldn't use her. So it's probably her. Kango, Mahira, Kumira, maybe not in that order, and Greya, and then Ladva in the back line. And maybe Silva or something like that in the back line as well. Silva works. Um, there's also... Why did I do that? There's also, if you play Doraemon event and you got Nobita, he has a, um, a support skill that he deals damage when you chain burst. Um, it doesn't stack with Silva though, so you have to pick one. I I mean, there's similar damage, I think. I was trying to figure out which one had more damage, then I would use that one. But there's, I think Silva might be more. I have Silva in there now, so maybe. But either one. If you don't have Silva and you did the Doraemon event, he's a free character, so I mean, use him. Uh, the thing about full auto is if it's more likely, the battle is longer, it's more likely that you will die and the back line characters will have to come in. Um, Nobita and Silva both decent though, so I, I would, it's not that much of an issue. Ladava is as well, so I guess it's not a problem. I mean, less damage maybe, but at that point you're kind of either near the end of the battle or need to call for backup. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's it for today, I have to edit this later a lot. I have homework to do and laundry, so don't forget to subscribe and I will actually put artwork in the um, channel when I have time, hopefully this weekend. So yeah, like and subscribe. If you watch this video, I know the algorithm is not favoring it, so yeah, I'll post more. And yep. Enjoy gotcha. That that music kind of slaps. What's that? The um Edgelands music. Look it up. So good. So good. So